Welcome back to the channel, foodies. So today I'm going to show you guys how I made this sesame chicken. So the first time I made this chicken, it didn't turn out so well, but I think I've perfected the recipe now. So here goes. I hope you enjoy. So first off, I'm going to cut my chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces. You can also use chicken breasts if you don't have um, thighs but I just like the thigh meat. I think it's dark meat. It's just so much better. And then you're just going to season your meat uh, using some salt, some black pepper, soy sauce, and don't worry, this won't make it too salty. Then you're going to add some smoked paprika and some cayenne pepper. And again, don't worry, the cayenne pepper won't add too much heat. It's just going to add a little bit of a kick and great flavor then you're going to add in your egg white and mix everything together until it's well combined finally you're going to add some cornstarch and then give it a final mix until everything is well combined and then you're going to cover it up and set it aside for 15 to 30 minutes just let the meat marinate and let everything just bind together then once your meat is ready you are going to take some cornstarch and sprinkle some water into it and then just give it a shake and then you're going to repeat this process three times this is just going to help the meat the cornstarch to adhere to the meat and just bind it nicely together so that it doesn't fall off your meat this is a trick I learned and it really works wonders then cover everything up and give it a good shake then your meat is now coated just repeat this process do do this in batches as you can see I'm using a small bowl here so I can't do everything all at once then once you're done it's time to move over to the stove and you are going to fry your chicken in your oil for about three to five minutes until it's lightly golden we're going to fry this again so don't do it for longer than five minutes right then you're going to set your chicken aside and we're going to prepare the sauce so in the sauce goes soy sauce, some water, some rice vinegar, some brown sugar, tomato sauce, some honey, and give that a good mix and let it come to a simmer. And then you're going to add some garlic Again, let it simmer and then you're going to add your sesame oil and give everything a good mix once again. And then finally, you're going to add in your sesame seeds and then just set it aside. Right, now it's time to fry our chicken for the second time. And again, you're going to fry it for about five minutes until or until it's um, a dark golden brown. You need to just watch your chicken, make sure it doesn't burn. That's the color that we're looking for, that deep golden brown. And there is our golden crispy chicken, beautiful. Now it is time to coat it in the sauce. So you're going to add it to the sauce. Um, do make sure that when you do this, both the sauce and the chicken are both hot. Um, otherwise your chicken is going to become soggy instead of retaining that nice crispy outer layer. So make sure all the chicken is well coated before you serve your chicken and we are all done i like to serve this with some steamed rice so delicious and then i just like to top with some additional some extra sesame seeds and some spring onion and there we are a beautiful simple dish that is just packed with flavor and the balance of the sweetness and sourness on the chicken is out of this world I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you give this recipe a try and as usual please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.